Honestly, I don't get it. This is supposed to be so simple. Why can't I boost my reel on Instagram? Oh no, here they come again. Okay, now that they're gone, I'm just gonna say it. Instagram, you bossy AF. I'm Deepa from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Now, if you've watched our video about how to boost an Instagram reel already, you know that you should be able to set up your boost with just a few taps, but there are a few common reasons why your boost might not work. Ugh, not you again. Anyways, it sucks to get an error message after you've worked so hard on your premium content, but do not worry, I'm about to hit you with some bright and shiny solutions. So get ready to boost obstacle free. Oh, and make sure to watch until the end because I want you to know what to do in case your boost button just ever, you know, disappears. Okay, error message number one. Reel shared to Facebook can be boosted as ads. So if you've cross-posted your Instagram reel to Facebook, unfortunately, you won't be able to use the boost function. Solution, you'll have to download and post your reel on Instagram again, this time making sure not to cross-post to Facebook. And if you've never done that before, you can watch our video on how to download reels right here. Once that Instagram reel is posted exclusively to Instagram, you'll be able to boost that reel across the platform. Error message number two, reels that use copyrighted music can't be boosted as ads. Advertisements aren't allowed to use copyrighted music clips, even if you've spent hours syncing up your footage to your fave litho track. So the solution is, if you've run into this problem, you unfortunately will need to start your video from scratch again, this time using non-copyrighted music. All you gotta do is search copyright free music and it'll offer you tons of options, or of course, you can use your own original audio, like me. It's about damn time. In a minute, pump you up. Error message number three. You don't have permission to promote this post. If you're getting the message that you don't have permission to boost an Instagram reel, the problem may be over on Facebook. Oopsies. So all you gotta do is head over to Facebook to make sure that you have your admin permission for your connected page. You may even wanna disconnect your Instagram account from that page and try to reconnect it. And if you want help with this, watch my dog colleague Kai's video, I'm cute but Kai's cuter, on how to connect and reconnect your Instagram and Facebook pages. Click here. Error message number four and five. Reels containing GIFs or GIFs or other effects cannot be boosted as ads and reels containing tappable elements cannot be boosted. So if you run into this message that you've got a GIF or a GIF or a tappable element, AKA a sticker that isn't allowed, you're gonna have to remake your Instagram reel without them and repost. That being said, there's actually one exception to the tappable elements rule. The polling sticker is allowed in boosted Instagram reels, why? We're not sure. Instagram just works in very mysterious ways. mysterious ways. Error message number six, the video's resolution is too low. Instagram only wants to boost great looking content. Yes, that's right, looks matter. I'm sorry, but if your video doesn't meet Instagram reel specs and has a low resolution or even isn't a vertical format, your boost will most likely be rejected. <clears throat> I've also found that in my experiments that videos that involve zooming in can create a resolution issue. All Instagram reels must be 1080 pixels wide and 1920 pixels tall, adhering to the nine to 16 aspect ratio. Error message number seven, this video is too long, but not this one, this one's perfect. Length can be a reason for rejection too. While Instagram reels can be up to 90 seconds long, you're only allowed to boost Instagram reels that are 60 seconds or shorter. If your boost is getting rejected because of length, it's time to put on your editing hat and get to chopping. Go back and edit your reel down to 60 seconds and then try boosting it again. Where, where is the boost button on Instagram Reels? Okay, this one isn't actually an error message. Sometimes your boost button just poof, disappears. It's, it's gone. 
And that's because boosting Instagram Reels is currently only an option for Instagram business accounts. So if you're not seeing the boost button on your Instagram Reels, you probably don't have a business account. Luckily, anyone can switch their profile over from personal to business. So all you gotta do is go to your profile and tap the settings menu icon in the top right corner. It's just the three horizontal lines. Then tap settings and then account. Then scroll down to tap switch account type. Basically from there, just follow the prompts to finish setting up your Instagram business account. Okay, that is every single error message you might face while you're in the process of boosting your Instagram reels. Let's see, Meta try to stop you now. I dare you, Adam. Mark, come at me. Have you seen my punches? Have you seen my punches? If you run into any other Instagram Reels error messages we haven't covered here, let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, because why wouldn't you, hit us with a like and a subscribe. We crave your praise. It is a disease. But now that you're all invincible Reels machines, you should probably celebrate with a free 60-day trial of Hootsuite. You can schedule and boost your Reels right from the dashboard alongside all your other social media accounts. Pretty cool, right? Grab your free trial right here. Click. Okay, and stay tuned for our deep dive into Facebook Reels. Bye for now, friends.